Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be covering all of the seasons that have been in Fortnite, which is battle passes, everything. Season 1 to Season 15. I'm going to be ranking them on a tier list, so if you watch and enjoy this and you want to see more of this, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and post notifications. I've been trying to get more content recently on the channel, like uh, old stuff, so I'm going to probably continue to do this until a new season comes out, so let's hop into it. So the first one, so the first one I'm obviously gonna rank is season one. I'm not gonna lie, I've not really played that season, but from what I've seen, I would say it's a decent season. So we'll probably go around the good season, the mid-range season. Um, it really wasn't that action-packed like Fortnite is nowadays. It did not get updates weekly. It got updates around maybe I want to say every month or so, and they weren't really big updates. There were no new weapons. There were no new map changes. Uh, I think with season two was when the new map change struck, where like a bunch of different POIs came out. Um, so season one, in my opinion, would probably be a good, good season around mid range season. I don't really know what I would rather put that in. I would probably rather put it in mid range season rather than good season because it's a season, but it wasn't the best season in the world. So I'm probably gonna put it in mid range season. So in terms of chapter one, season two, a lot of stuff really came in around chapter one season three so season two it was once again a standard season for me this is when they started to put in new updates for new weapons new map changes this is when the big map change happened so tilted towers haunted hills junk junction snobby shores a bunch of stuff came in so i might have to just put it up for that point in general um and i do think that that was a big part of season two and all the content because I think mostly, most of the players actually came in during Season 3 and Season 4. Because those were the most hyped up seasons. Those were the most people that were talking about at school and everything. So I'm probably going to go with a mid-range to good season. I'm probably going to put it in good season because of the map change. And everything that happened that season along with Tilted Towers and Sabi Shores and all that. That was a really good season for me. Mid-range to good season. I'm probably going to put it in good season because of the map change. And... Everything that happened that season, along with Tilted Towers and Sabi Shores and all that, that was a really good season for me. So, Season 3 is the one that I really enjoyed. Uh, it's along with, there's a bunch of new stuff. There's new back blings. I think there was... Was it... Was it either... I want to say it was back blings and it was Tier 100. I know that for a fact. John Wick obviously came in that season, Dark Voyager. It was very space-themed, and I kind of like it. Um... I think season 4 was the season that actually happened with all the meteor and stuff. That was really fun. Uh, so I think season 3 would go in a good season to very good season. I think it would go in a good season. Um, there's not many things that are going to hit the god season this god season this tier list. It's like the 2 or 3. So the 2 or 3 are obviously... Um, well, you'll find out later on in the video. Chapter 1 season 3 though for me would be a good season. Mm, actually, I'm going to bump it up to very good season. Uh, from the main factor that a bunch of new features got added in that season, along with weekly updates. It was Famas that came in, I know that for a fact. Uh, Tier 100, obviously. Back blings, there was, I think... I, I can't think about it. There was back blings and there was something else that came in the Battle Pass as well that made it really stand out. Alright, so now we're going into Season 4. Chapter 1, Season 4 was a very good season. Uh, for me, it was seemed like a very good season. It was like Christmas morning on that morning, and I really enjoyed that very much. It was really supposed to be superhero themed leading up to it. A lot of people thought it was going to be superhero themed, Marvel themed. Um, obviously, no real superheroes came in. I think they came in, though, during season 5 or season 6. There was an LTM for it. Uh, I think Black Widow came in the item shop. Star Lord came in the item shop. It was very fun. So I think season 4 for. This would most likely go into a very good season to God season. Obviously, it had Tier 100, uh, Carbide and Omega with those upgradable styles. Actually, because of that, I think I wanted, I think I wanted to pop it into God season. It was a very good season with the new map changes. Uh, and this was really the start of Fortnite where a bunch of new stuff came in the new season. Um, a new features got added every single season along with toys, wraps, and all that stuff. Uh, and map changes every single new season. So I think that really made uh, Fortnite the the amazing part of it. And I do want to mention, I did forget about this. Season 3, or no, actually no, Season 4, I also had the first live event for Fortnite. It was a Rocket event, and it was very fun to watch. So uh, I will definitely put that in God Season. Chapter 1, Season 5, there's not really much to talk about. Uh, the very start of the season was very good. 
I really enjoyed the very start of the season. Paradise Palms was a great addition to the map. It was the most fun P POI of the patch map that personally I enjoyed the most. My favorite location ever. So for that, not just that, because towards the end of the season it started going down, there was no really action packed stuff happening. Um, it really just, I don't think there was an event that season. Besides, no, the cube came in. The cube came in. That was the season event, I think. And it made the lake all, all, uh, I think it was a bouncy house or something like that. So season five, it was a decent season. I wouldn't consider it the best because of the event. The event wasn't the best. You literally could watch it in the playground. That's how little it meant to the Fortnite community, I think. So, um, I would pump it into a good, good season good season because at the very start of the season it was a very good season and my favorite POIs were in that season. Alright now hopping into season six. Season six was decently fun but the thing is about it it was very Halloween themed. I did enjoy the wool the wolf at the very end the tier one hundred. I did enjoy the dire skin that was very fun. Um so I would probably put this in a decent mid range season because it wasn't the best for me but it was decent. Um once again, it it brought in some stuff. It did bring in pets that season. There was a castle near Junk Junction Haunted Hills. Uh, but it kind of just added to, I never went to the castle. So it wasn't really that fun for me there. Um, oh, I did forget to mention, Season 3 also brought in the hand camp. That was what I was forgetting. And that is really why it went to a very good season. There was a lot of features that were as in season. Anyway, Season 6, I'll probably put it in mid-range season. Because it was not the best season, it was very Halloween themed, and I think there was already a Halloween themed location on the map, so it wasn't that best, because they just added on to that, basically. So, Season 7, Chapter 1, that was very fun to me. Uh, it was very Christmas themed, I liked the trailer a lot, it was like a gingerbread. Um, it, it was very hyped up because of all the Christmas skins that came back, along with the Halloween thing, so I'm probably going to put that in good season now. Because of the Skull Trooper, I think, coming back that season. A uh, bunch of stuff, a lot of hyped up stuff came in that season, so that was very fun. Along with the season seven, so I'm gonna put that in good season. Along with the one D skin, it was very fun. Uh, I coming back that season, a uh, bunch of stuff, a lot of hyped up stuff came in that season, so that was very fun. Along with the season seven, so I'm gonna put that in good season. Along with the one D skin, it was very fun. Uh, I think Sneaky Snowman came in chapter two, season one. I think it's when it came out, possibly later than that. I don't really know, but um. Yeah, Season 7 was a very fun season. So, Season 8 was very fun also. Season 8, I feel like it was one of those seasons where a lot of map changes happened, but you don't really know why. Because for the Season 7 event, it was mostly the Ice King putting snow all over the map. It was really cool. You could go on the map. It was literally changing right in front of your eyes. Uh, but you really had no explanation for the volcano being there. But I did enjoy the volcano. Don't get me wrong about that. The volcano... And the storyline after that was very fun. Um, it brought, I think, the pressure plant came in the next season, which was Neo Tilted, Neo, uh, I think it was Neo Retail Row, or something like that, Mega Mall. And uh, it was very futuristic themed, and I kind of enjoyed that part of it. Uh, the volcano erupted at the end of the season, the involting event happened. It was a very fun season, so for that, I'm going to put it in a very good season, but it was one of those seasons where there wasn't that much build up to it. Which I think we're gonna go into for chapter one, season five, or chapter two, season five. Uh, not that much build up going into next season, not much explanation. But after that, the storyline's gonna start ramping up a lot. Season nine, like I said before, was very fun. The storyline built up to the Neo Tilted, it built up to the futuristic theme of it. Uh, the pump shotgun got vaulted. I had mixed feelings about that. The combat shotgun it was very overpowered. No one really knew it at the time until it got vaulted again. Um. So, uh, later on, the Pump Shotgun did get on Vaulted in that season, though. And for that, they did take away Retail Row. Uh, they rebuilt it and everything because the volcano erupted on Retail Row until the towers, of course. And then this was the season where the monster and mech fought. So, I think for that, I'm going to put it in a good season. A lot of good seasons here. Just not the best. Um, there was only one mid-range season. That was obviously the very beginning of Fortnite. So, I did really enjoy uh, Season 9. But for the most part, it's going to go into good season only. Okay, so Season X. Season X was decently fun. Uh, season X, it would it had mechs in it, obviously. Those, I just, I don't even want to talk about the mechs. The mechs sucked. Uh, they, they just really ruined the whole entire season for me. For that reason, I only got to, like, tier 100 and then I stopped playing Season 6 or Season X because of how unfun it was with the mechs in there. It was super overpowered. Um, 
But a lot of stuff happened that season, including the end event, obviously at the very end, all the rockets came down to hit the zero point uh, with the meteor. And it was very fun to have all those old locations back. Literally, the map changed every single day. It was very fun in that case scenario. And I think uh, most of it happened because they wanted to just reminisce on the old on the old map and then bring in a new map. And honestly, I really did enjoy this, but uh, I'm going to have to put it in mid-range season. Just for the main factor of the mechs, those were really annoying and I really hate them, the burning passion. So hopping into chapter 2, season 1, a brand new map, a brand new chapter. It was very fun at first. Uh, like I said before, I didn't really play it that much because at the time I was still sick of the mechs, you know. I don't know why I was getting so mad about it though because chapter season 1 was a really good season at the very start. And it eventually started to go downhill, obviously. Uh, because all these new features got added and then 3 months later, 4 months later, there still wasn't a new season, so that wasn't very fun, waiting for the brand new season. But they said they were going to put it as Chapter 1, Season 1, which I didn't really enjoy that much, but it was okay. Uh, but all the new features that got added, I'm going to put it in a very good season. Because of fishing got added, the boats got added, swimming got added, a bunch of stuff got added. I'm pretty sure... Uh, I don't know. I, I know a lot of stuff got added in that season, and it was very fun. A lot of the skins had selectable styles, there's overdrive challenges. So for that reason, I'm going to put it in a very good season. Along with the brand new map, obviously, that was very fun to play on. So hopping into Chapter 2, Season 2, that was the most fun season I've ever had playing Fortnite. Obviously, automatically going to go into God Season. That was very fun to play on for me. Uh, chapter 2, Season 2 was just amazing for me. There's Mythics that got added. All five locations, one in the middle, all in the upper corners and lower corners. There was new locations. The Grotto was my favorite location, the Mythical Minigun. That was very fun to enjoy uh, and to play with. It was very, it, it was, it kind of made sense because obviously agents took over the island and I could understand that. But um, besides that, I think the season was amazing. It was the best freaking season that I've ever enjoyed and had playing. So I'm going to put that above like this. Um, obviously, this is going to go in a tier list like how I enjoy them. So very good season, obviously. My favorite are those in season three and the chapter two season one is gonna go in front of season uh and so like that so the whole entire tier list is gonna go like this um so yeah let's hop into chapter two season three so chapter two season three it was very fun it had a lot of build up to it and i really enjoyed the very beginning of it once again i did quit for a little bit after this um i think it was after i got tier 100 i started quitting uh because it wasn't that fun for me uh but i am gonna put it as good season because of how good it was at the beginning um and that was really fun for, to me uh and how much i enjoyed it it was just really fun at the very beginning of the season the mythic og obviously and just uh the flooding thing and it going down every single i think update it was or every single day it was it was very fun and it was very exciting to see when the sharks were going to be gone if they were going to still be there it was just a uh, up turned um map tempo so going into chapter 2 season 4 obviously marvel happened in this season and i kind of did enjoy it uh towards the end of the season obviously i grinded the last few days if you didn't know the last few days i got to 100 uh it was a snow day it was perfect it was just perfect it all fit in together but i do have to mention that there's no storyline related topics leading up to the season it was literally just like kind of thrown onto it obviously Thor came in, he got all of the superheroes, and then, oh, Galactus saw this island, and that's, like, very unlikely, and I just don't really understand it that much. Uh, it was a decent season, though, I have to admit, uh, with all the Marvel characters, that was really fun. So I'm gonna put this into, I wanna say good season or very good season, probably I'm gonna put it in good season, um, in front of season 9. That was a very good season. Uh, I really did enjoy all the Marvel stuff, it's just, there was no storyline adding up to it. Obviously, there's a storyline adding up into the next season, which is Chapter 2, Season 5. Five. Uh, obviously, that's the season, the season currently in. And it was very fun. I have, do have to add, um, Chapter 2, Season 5, I think, is going to have to go into a very good season. Although, towards the end of it, there was no content, so I'm going to put it in the middle of a good season. Um, it was just, it was a decent season overall. Uh, I do say, I do... Obviously, I want to get into the next season very quickly because of how badly the content was in the season. There was just collabs and collabs and collabs and collabs and collabs. I've already talked about it in another video, so I'm not really going to ramble on about that. 
But um, it was a good season to start off. Very well started off. And uh, towards the end of it, it really wasn't that fun. So if you enjoyed this tier list, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and tell me if you want to see more of them in the comment section below. Uh, I did do the season 1 to season 15 cinematic trailer of the battle passes and all of it. I put that into a video before, which I'm probably going to put at the end link at the very end. Um, I did do that because I wanted to lead into this tier list video and uh, really show you guys all the trailers in front of it. Obviously, I'm going to edit it. I'm going to probably have a bunch of trailers that popped up in the middle of this video. But um, yeah, if you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications. The next tier list I'm going to do are items. And before that, I'm going to do the trailer, all the trailers for the brand new items that came in Fortnite. So yeah, if you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.